thank you for the amazing ride we've had this far and the one that's yet to come. There's no one I would rather walk beside in this life, hand in hand, paw in paw. Crazy to think that four years ago, on the same beach, I fell in love with you. There are an infinite number of things I love about you. I love your safety first outlook when I'm trying to be dangerously optimistic. I love your integrity as a man. I love your commitment, passion to everything you pursue, whether it's tennis, finance, or maybe even that fantasy football trade. I love that you don't just listen, you hear me. I love your commitment to routine, knowing exactly how long it will take to get from one place to the next. Many of you will see Jay's infectious energy and life of the party spirit, something I was immediately attracted to. But really, I fell in love with your heart of gold. I feel so fortunate to have a front row seat to such a special side of your personality and soul. The sensitive guy who cries when I go to Vancouver. <laughs> and has flowers and pokey waiting for me when I return. I promise to respect, admire, and appreciate you for who you are today, as well as for the person you wish to become. I promise to grow alongside you, but also to never grow up. I'm so proud that today I become your wife. I love you. With this ring, I promise you'll never have to face the world alone. Regardless of where we find ourselves, I know life will be infinitely better with you by my side. When I look back on where we came from, it doesn't surprise me that we are here, but we also weren't neighbors growing up. Our distinct and unique paths through life finally intertwined four years ago on this beach, and I knew immediately you were the one. Now, I promise I won't hold it against you, that everyone knew that you were the one because I couldn't stop talking about it before you knew I was the one. But you finally came around. I love you because of your purity. You're the most kind and compassionate person I've ever met. I remember early on when we would have our sleepovers in separate beds. You, you left at 6 a.m. and I asked where you were going and you said you were going to read to underprivileged children. The combination of the morning light in my sleep, I could swear there was a halo over your, you were my angel. <laughs> I felt really bad going back to sleep. <laughs> you know me better than anyone else in this world, and marriage is a privilege, not a prerequisite. Because you're allowing me this privilege, I promise to be there with you through all the ups and downs. We've had so many incredible moments together. We'll have so many incredible moments together. This is an incredible moment we're gonna have together. <laughs> but I also want to be there for you when we're not on the beach together. I promise to be your family when you're homesick, your sounding board when Natalie's studying, your blanket when you're cold, your proxy boss when your real boss is driving you crazy. I'll spoil you with takeout when you're hungry. I'm not gonna cook for you. <laughs> to take your hand when it's too dark and the dog when it's too early. I promise to love you, care for you, but not obey you entirely, because that would be weird. I am a better person with you by my side, and I promise to continue to evolve and grow. I will listen and give selflessly, and apologize and say I'm sorry sincerely. I will eat outside the main square, and I'll shop on Naughty <laughs> I am now entirely yours, and the scariest thing is how little this scares me. Assuming there's no last second changes. I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'm so proud to call you my wife. I love you forever.